It's the best from the north, south, east, and west. Next in sports, Brian has all the highlights in sports. Brian joins us now. We're talking about something a little different about martial arts tonight. It is a little different. I don't know if I can do this <laughs> stuff. It takes a lot of it's discipline. It's tough. Oh, it, it, there's so many um, elements that yeah. make it... Mm -hmm. uh, effective and I, one of them is something that maybe doesn't come to mind and I'm talking about finesse because when you think of finesse the idea of a man breaking six pieces of wood with his bare foot may not come to mind. Okay. Then again you probably haven't met Paul Dexter. New Center Age Chaz Matty introduces us to a man taking the Taekwondo to a higher degree. The movement is graceful, eloquent and precise. It flows from an inner sense of peace, balance, and discipline, but it can reach a crescendo of power. <laughs> Paul Dexter's dedication to the martial art of Taekwondo earned him the high honor of a fourth degree black belt. To get there, you know, spending the time to get to be a first degree black belt approximately three years, and then approximately the same amount for each black belt, for, so from first to second a couple years, second to third three years, Things like that, you know, spending the time in, but then again, getting all the credentials and all the backing, um, and, and, and spending the time in, in furthering my education. The new black belt is just one of many honors Dexter earned through the art, like gold medals in the world championships in 1990 and 94. But Dexter says the belt is just a way for him to rechannel his focus into what he considers his highest honor, his teaching. And if, that, if I can help at all, help somebody accomplish those physical goals, then then those extra extra goals, you know, the tennis or the mental part is going to be uh, going to be the big, the highlight, and the icing on the cake. So that's kind of what I wanted from it. Dexter's eyes glitter when he talks about passing on his knowledge to his students. After all, he learned Taekwondo from its founder. General Che passes on just an amazing amount of information. Um, he goes over the physical part, but then it's the philosophy, it's the idea behind everything that he teaches, that he wants the students to know, because um, it has to, has to be a self-betterment within yourself. The mental aspect of the art is ever-present, as before the grace, eloquence, and power of a move can be achieved, there must be mental balance. If you have to compete, if you're going to test, like when I tested, with just two or three days notice, when you're, when you're having to do that, you have to concentrate. You have to be able to mentally stay sharp and prepared, you know, for anything they call for, and to be able to show the moves that you're supposed to be able to show, you know, on demand. And it does take a lot of mental, mental discipline to be able to do that, otherwise it wouldn't work. When Dexter talks about passing on his knowledge, he says he wants to complete the circle. How fitting. A circle is an object of balance, of equilibrium, that works to continue endlessly, just like Paul Dexter. Chaz Maddie, Newsonite Sports, Columbia.